שבת שלום, שבת שלום, שבת שלום. All praises, all praises, all praises, all praises to the most dire. Hallelujah, for he alone is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, all praises to the King of Yashrael. The governor and the ruler of all the earth. This is the day that Yah has made, and I will rejoice and be glad in it. And listen, I do hope that you are rejoicing. And Yah, the Eloi, the God of your salvation. All praises, hallelujah. All praises to my King. I do hope that you are well. And that you are still trusting only in Yah. Hallelujah. I want to encourage you that if you are going to big up anyone, that if you are going to brag on anyone, if you are going to boast in anyone, let it be Yah. Let it be Yah. Tosavu. Yah. Eloika. Yah. Our strong tower. Yah. Our beginning and our end, Yah the first and the last. He that is and was and is to come, the King of glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Yah, the creator of all things, all that is seen and unseen, the all-knowing one, boasting Yah, our healer, our mind regulator, our sustainer, Hallelujah, our bridge over troubled waters. Hallelujah, our call recourse, our source and our resource. Our only recourse, the only one who listens and hears us when we are crying in the night. Yeah, the only harm that will never fail. Encourage persons with that this morning. Only Yah will never fail. The scriptures that roll to the man that put confidence in man, because the arms of flesh will fail. Only Yah he doesn't change. He is the faithful one. He is faithful even when we are not faithful. I just want to big him up this way on this Sabbath. Only Yah doesn't change. Only Yah doesn't fail. Only Yah doesn't go back on his words. Only Yah keeps his promises. His promises are yea and yea. Hallelujah. So if I'm going to trust in, if I'm going to break on, if I'm going to beak up, if I'm going to boast in or boast on anyone, I promise you it's going to be Yah. Hallelujah. So I do hope that that is where you are. I want to thank all the new subscribers. To the channel i'm gonna believe whatever your reason was i'm gonna believe this is for the father has directed you to come and um, i hope that and being here that you encourage because that is all we seek to do here to encourage you in your relationship with the most high to encourage you to follow to learn and follow the way of yah the way of yah is Obeying his laws, learning his laws, his statutes, his judgment, his commandments. Hallelujah. We don't preach religion here. We encourage you to have relationship according to the scripture. That's all we see in the scripture. We don't see no religion in there. So we learn, we are learning to live by the scripture, by following the Ruah Akadish, the spirit of truth, the spirit of wisdom that Yahushua sent, said that he would send the leaders and guide them. Guide us into truth, and truth we know is His law. Hallelujah! And so that's what we do here. We're not perfect. We're learning. Sometimes you would see a video where I'm very, very upset. Hallelujah! Those times are important too. But there are times when I sit, like now, and um, I gonna speak calmly. I'll praise it. So it's the Sabbath, and it's over here. But I want to come and share 
what is in my spirit. I got up this morning and I went to do some reading. And I'm reading about David. I'm reading the story on David. And as I read that, this is when David, Goliath, was challenging Yashrael. Challenging Yashrael. This is First Samuel chapter 17. And as I got through reading it this morning, the question that stuck out in my spirit and still there's now afternoon. What are you looking at? So I came to ask someone today, and I'm feeling this present in my spirit. What are you looking at? What are you looking at? Now, when I was a little girl, and I was cantankerous, <laughs> and you know you have this thing where people looking at you, be like, what you looking at? What you staring at me for? I guess I'm viewing. What are you looking at? So when you ask someone that question, it's a hostile question, right? It's a hostile question, and it brings discomfort to the other person, you know, because we're like, oh, they didn't expect all that attitude. But that's not it this morning. We're not being hostile, but we're asking the question, what are you looking at? What has gotten your attention? What is it that is causing you to doubt Yah? What is it that has gotten your attention so much that you're doubting the promises that the Most High has made to you? What have your attention so much that you have lost focus on the things of Yah? What is so big in the front of you? that you are unable to see anything else. What is it that has gotten your eyes off of the things of Yah? What are you looking at? What have your mind so preoccupied and so distracted? And have you even get into the place where you are feeling overwhelmed and distressed? Brothers and sisters, what are you looking at? That is presenting himself as if it's bigger than your yah. Hallelujah. Let me read a few voices to you. Because I this had me thinking this morning. And I was like, hallelujah. Mm. All praises. All praises. And to this, I'm going to start from when David met his brothers. And as he talked with them, behold, they came up. The champion. The Philistine of Gat, Goliath by name, out of the armies of the Philistine, and spoke according to the same words. And David heard them. Let me see, what were the words that he spoke? Okay, let me go back so we get, let me get a full picture here. This is verse 4. And there went out a champion of out of the camp of the Philistine named Goliath of Gath, whose height, this is where I should have started. Let's see, we got to get the full picture. Whose height was six cubits and a span. And he had a helmet of brass upon his head, and he was harmed with a coat of, of mail, and the weight of the coat was 5,000 shekels of brass. And he had greaves of brass upon his legs and a target of brass between his shoulders. And the staff of his spear was like a beaver's beam. And his spear's head weighed 600 shackles of iron. And one bearing a shield went before him. And he stood and cried unto the armies of Yashroel and said unto them, why are you come out to set your battle in a, an array, and not I, a Philistine? And ye servants to Saul, choose your man for you, and let him come down to me. If he is able to fight with me and to kill me, then will we be your servants. 
But if I prevail against him and kill him, then shall ye be our servants and serve us. And the Philistines said, I defy the armies of Israel this day. Give me a man that we may fight together. When Saul and all Israel heard those words of the Philistine, they were dismayed and greatly afraid. What are you looking at? That's the picture. You know, Yashwael, this big giant of a man, came out wearing this heavy, heavy armor. But it wasn't heavy for him because of the size. So he was quite a sight to behold. And that got Yashwael's attention. To the point where they forgot everything <laughs> they forgot who they were serving who what was the name of their loi they forgot and all they saw was this big tall tall giant you see they gave a full description of him that is what had their attention that was their focus they were terrified they was an even saul who was a king who was anointed by you we know at that time David had already been anointed, <clears throat> but that's what they knew. And But they were afraid. They were afraid. They were afraid. And all they could see in front of them was this big Philistine giant who was challenging them to come, challenging them to come out and fight against just him. Just him. He wanted one man to come and fight against him. But the whole army of Israel was not did not dare to go. He was asking for one, but not even the whole army would go and fight against him. And I believe the day some of us are in such situations like that, where we have something that is going on in our life that is presenting himself itself to be so big that we cannot think of anything else. It's on our mind. It's consuming our thoughts. And it have us feeling overwhelmed and there is a lot of things that is going on in the world but I'm believing this is personal this is more close to home this is more close to home for some persons that really have them trouble in their ruah so the question as it, that's in my spirit is to ask what are you looking at what is it that is presenting itself so big to you like what Goliath did to Yashwayal, that you can't see anything else and you are running, that you are forgetting the promises of the Most High. You will forget his name. This thing just have you right out of it, right out of it. What is it that is presenting itself that it is bigger than Yah, Yah, that is greater than the Most High? Hallelujah, that have you retreating. Have you retreating. I came to encourage you today that there is none that is greater than I am. None that is greater, none more powerful. He sits high and he looks low. The earth is, is stool. The earth is his footstool. He still has the whole world in his hand. He still has the whole world in his hand. And there is nothing too hard for him. There's nothing too difficult for him. And I wanted to encourage you. Not to allow what you're facing with to consume you. And I know situations in life can do that. Sometimes. Understand, but don't lose heart, don't lose hope. Know that He that brought you to it will take you through it. He that brought you to it will take you through it. So let me continue where David came in. And as he talked with them, behold, there came up the champion of the Philistine, Gat Goliath by name out of the armies of the Philistine and spoke according to the same word. So we heard what he was saying. He was challenging them to come. And all the men of Israel 
when they saw the man fled from him and were so afraid. They were afraid. And the men of Israel said, Have you seen this man that has come up? Surely to defy Yashrael is he come up, and he shall be that the man who kills him. Okay, when I go in, anyway, since I've already started. The king will enrich him with great riches and will give him his daughter and make his father house free in Yashrael. Now, even with that promise, that didn't convince them to go up against the guy, Goliath. They still was not going to go up against him. They still was not going to go up against him. But David, David looked at it and was like, What shall be done to that man that kills this Philistine and takes away the reproach from Yashrael? For who is this uncircumcised Philistine that he should defy the enemies of the living Elohim? The armies of the living Elohim. And the people answered after him this manner, saying, So shall it be done to the man that kills him. And we're moving down to verse 34. And David said unto Saul, Your servant kept his father's sheep. And there came a lion and a bear and took a lamb out of the flock. And I went out with him and smote him and delivered it out of his mouth. And when he arose against me, I caught him by his beard and smote him and slew him. Your servant slew both the lion and the bear. And this uncircumcised Philistine shall be as one of them, seeing he has defied the armies of the living Elohim. You know, as I read about David, one of the questions that I ask myself is, what do you think were some of the things as David said in, in the fields, minding the sheep, and he communed with the father? Because remember, David was anointed. He went back to the palace, and then he left. You see? But David returned from Saul to feed his father's sheep. So David went back into the field. After being in the palace for, palace for bed and went to keep the sheep. And so David ended up on the field because his father told him to go and check on his brother. So David was obviously comfortable in the fields with the sheep. Even though he was already known to be king. We did the teaching on David before. And David, we know, had a relationship with the Most High. David had a relationship with Yah. And he, that's why he was so comfortable doing what he was doing. And David had already had experiences with the Most High. And that's why he was so confident in the power and the name of Yah. So he's saying to Saul, because Saul is saying to him, you little fella, you so you, you small, how you go up against this big man? So he's telling so, listen, when I was out there keeping my dad's sheep, a lion and a bear came up against me. And I killed both of them. You understand me? I killed both of them. And just how Yah delivered the lion. See, you see what he used? The name of the Most High. He didn't even say it in his own strength. Just how Yah did it for me. To deliver me or to deliver the lion and the bear into my hand, that's just how he's going to deliver this Philistine. So I want to say to you who right now you're dealing with something that have you staring at it, have your mind consumed, remember what you did before. And that's why it's so important for us to have our own experiences with the Father. Because each experience is to prepare us for the next. You understand? So just how the Father delivered you before in the past, he who did it then will do it again. And this is what David was saying to Saul. I then experienced the power of the Most High. I have already experienced the name of Yah. The Most High has already delivered into my hand a lion and a bear that came up against me and tried to eat my sheep. 
I took one of the sheep from there. You understand me? And just as the Father, the Most High, yeah, did it before, he will deliver the same uncircumcised Philistine into my hand. You understand? David said, moreover, yeah, that delivered me out of the paw of the lion and out of the paw of the bear. He will deliver me out of the hand of this Philistine. Yeah. The name of Yah is a strong tower that the righteous run into and the saved. The name of Yah. And David has already experienced that. You understand me? He had already experienced that. Verse 45. And David said to the Philistine, You come up to me. Because see, they wanted to give David the armor stuff. The arm again, he was like, oh, I need that. You understand me? Let him wear that. He need that. Let the Philistine guy wear that. David said to him, You come up to me with a sword and with a spear and with a shield, but I come to you in the name of Yah Tassavot, Yahuwah Tassavot, the Eloi of the armies of Yashrael, whom you have defied. This day will Yahuwah deliver me into your hand deliver you into my hand and I will smite you and take your head from you and I will give the carcass of the host of the Philistine this day unto the fowls of the hair and to the wild beasts of the earth and all the earth may know that there is an Elohim in Yashrael and all this assembly shall know that Yahuwah saves not with a sword and a spear for the battle is Yas, and he will give you into our hands. I want to encourage you with that today. That whatever you are facing, the battle is not yours. That it is Yah. You understand? It belongs to Yah, and he that delivered you before will do it again. All you have to do is have faith and trust in him, even as David did. All you got to do is brag on his name. See, when things presenting itself to you that, and, and try to life situation come at you and make, try to make you feel as if that's, that's the only thing that's happening. Try to consume your sword, your life, your, your very being. You have to take control and remind yourself of what you did before. And remind him of the promises of the most high to you and remember that he keeps his promises i remember when i was facing a goliath in my life 23 years ago and i spoke about this before when the doctors wanted to give me a hysterectomy at 25 <clears throat> that was my goliath and all i had was the word of yah all i had was the promises of the most high you understand me and they were saying to me, you are dying. You are bleeding to death. You are bleeding to death. And the only thing could save your life is if we give you a hysterectomy. And I was like, no, no, no. And I remember the song that I sang all through that time when I was in the accident and emergency. For you are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. And every time they came to me with a negative report, I used to turn my head to the wall and I used to start singing, You are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. For you are great, you do miracles so great, there is no one else like you, there is no one else like you. And for every time those doctors came to me, that was what I sang. I give you all the glory. I told them, then they got my room. But I began to praise the Father. I remember when I was going into the theater, I was singing. I was singing praises. So I want to encourage you, when life presents itself to you, situation as a Goliath, 
that is so big and, and have so much different um, elements to it and so many different parts and, and things that it just seem like it can take you under and you can't see around it. Look here, stand up or turn your face to the wall <laughs> and you begin to praise the Most High. You begin to call on the name of Yah. Make the Father your focus. Stare at what Yah has already done. You understand me? Put those things in your eyes view, in your mind. And just lift him up. Big him up high above your situation. You lift him up. You lift him up far above whatever you are dealing with. I want to encourage you with it today. You that run so well. Who did hinder you? That you should not obey the truth. You who had run so well, who did hinder you that you should not obey the truth? What is it that's causing you to doubt that what you're doing and the way that you're following is not the right way? That's not the truth. What are you looking at? I want to encourage you to put your eyes back on you. Put your eyes back on you. You understand? Don't lose heart. Don't lose hope. I told someone today, Yah will never leave us nor forsake us. He sees and he knows. I said to him, only Yah does not fail. Only Yah. And let me tell you something. I made a vow to myself years ago that it didn't matter how low I got. And I went down low. I was going to hold on to ya. Like the woman who I knew he could have touched the hem of the garment, that was me. No matter how low I went, what I went through, I made the Father consistent. I let go a lot of stuff, let go a lot of people, but I held on to the Father. And I want to encourage you Listen, you could go down low, but you just want to sit and do nothing. While you're sitting there, just continue to trust in Yah. Praise. You may not be able to talk. You may not even to be able to verbalize it. You understand me? There are times when only you could say, Yah, Yah, Yah. This may be one of those times that's all you have to say. You understand me? Because the power, the victory, the deliverance is in the name. Call the name. When you can't do anything else, call on the name. Break on the name of the Most High. Big up the name of the Most High. Boast in the name of the Most High. Let that him, let his name be your sword and your shield, your buckler, your defense. Your strong tower, your deliverer. You understand? Yah is near to those who call on his name. Those that call on the name will be delivered, will be set free, will not be forsaken. Because you know his name. And because you have set your heart upon him, because you have made him your love your habitation that you are choosing no matter how hard it get to follow after him he got you he got you so i just wanted to encourage you with that today i wanted to encourage you with that today know that like david said to for light and all this assembly should know that yah Saves not with a sword and a spear, for the battle is yours, and he will give you into our hands. So no matter what it is that you're dealing with, know that Yah don't come with a sword and a spear. He comes as Yah. He is show up and show off, and he just fix it according to his plan and purpose for our lives, and that's all we want. Okay? So... I don't know what you're looking at, 
but I want to ask you today to refocus your attention and put it back on the most high. Whatever this is for, be encouraged. You understand? Because there ain't nothing you can ever go through in this earth realm that's bigger than the Yah, the Elohim, the Eloi of Yahshua, the Almighty, the Most High One. And nothing bigger than Him. There's nothing greater than Him. And if you are going to hold on to and hide in and stick with anything, let it be Yah. Let it be Yah. You understand? Because everything else that is presenting himself as more, that's a lie. That's a lie. You understand me? That's a deception. You understand? That's just one of those things that trying to make you feel like, you know, you know, when you have the cartoon and, and, and the voice is this loud voice and then when you check it out, it's this little tiny thing. That's what it is. You understand? So be encouraged today. Enjoy the rest of your Sabbath. Shalom, shalom. Put your eyes back on you. Stare at you. If you can look at anything, let it be you. Look at you. Shalom. All praises. Love you. Be encouraged.